Prograde versus Taylor? Well, Boxing World Weekly has teamed up with BoxRaw to make sure you check out the big fight in the best threads. Subscribe to BWW and BoxRaw on YouTube, comment your prediction for the fight, and you could win $300 in BoxRaw gear. Contest ends October 26th. For Americans, Veterans Day is a time for remembrance. It's a day when people throughout the U.S. remember those who had fought and died for their country. It's a day to remember loved ones and to respect the sacrifices they have made. This Veterans Day weekend, Super Featherweight Challenger Lamont Roach Jr. will fight for his first world title against Marine veteran Jamel Herring. It'll be a heart-tugging moment for the young Roach, whose own late cousin was once an all-army boxing champion. Lamont's cousin and former head trainer Bernard Boogaloo Roach suddenly passed away from a heart attack two years ago before Lamont's fight with Louise Hinoza. Boogaloo, a former boxer, had fought in pre-Olympic trials before the 1992 Games and had been training Lamont since he was nine, being just as much of a father figure as he was a trainer. On November 9th, Boogaloo sadly will not be able to stand side by side with his young cousin as he makes the walk to the ring for his first world title fight. He may not be with him that fall night physically, but spiritually, Boogaloo will be right alongside him. The skills, technique and guidance that his cousin instilled in him along the way will be on full display for the world to see. At 24, Roach is a star in the making. With a perfect professional record of 19-0 with one draw, Roach has been vying for big fights for years and has finally found himself in one. But it is no easy task. Herring, a military and fight veteran, will enjoy a 3-inch height and 2-inch reach advantage over Roach, but will lose the advantage in youthfulness. Come fight night, Lamont will be almost 10 years younger. Herring's previous two losses have come to smaller fighters, who he has given up as much as a 5-inch height and 2.5-inch and reach advantage. So, if Roach can get inside and not allow Herring to pick his shots from a distance, there could be a good chance of hearing and new at the end of this tilt. Both fighters are quite familiar with one another, having known each other for over 10 years, gaining a mutual respect, and have even sparred each other years ago. If Roach can make it past what will undoubtedly be his toughest test to date, he could propel himself into stardom. With Top Rake and Golden Boy coming together to make this fight a reality and all the interesting and potential matchups to make in the uber-talented 130-pound division, more cross-promotional matches are a great thing. Veterans Day is a time for remembrance, and if Roach can remember all he has gone through to get to this moment, this may be a weekend he will never forget.